Now, uh, the, the fundamentals of patents. Now, as I said, uh, like any other IP, it's an exclusive monopoly right granted by the government. This right is actually a bundle of rights. It gives the patentee, the person who gets the patent eventually, who, who gets to the point of TG, which is the time for grant, he gets the patent granted in his name. Uh, it gives him the right to make, sell, use, offer for sale and import uh, these are the rights and import uh, the invention that is covered by the patent. It's a territorial right. So if the Indian government grants you a patent, the patent is enforceable only within the territory of India. You cannot even enforce it in Sri Lanka or any other neighboring country. It is granted for a period of 20 years. As I said, the 20 years begins from TA, time for application, and ends with TE, which is the time for expiry. That's a normal time for expiry in case it is not challenged and the, the patentee does not uh, uh, fail to renew it. In that case, it's 20 years from the date of application. The purpose of patents is to incentivize people to disclose the inventions that have come up with. It is also to, uh, to protect something which uh, is uh, for which a person has spent his time and resources in coming up with. Now, just imagine for a second, what would be the world uh, without patents. Uh, people will still be inventing, obviously, that will be happening, but there could be some endeavors that will become much more riskier than it is today. For instance, if somebody needs to find the next uh, drug for a, a life-threatening disease and assume that that endeavor is going to cost millions of dollars and it is going to cost quite a lot of time for somebody to make it, uh, they could be people who would put in their effort to do it, but normally, keeping the commercial practices in mind, a uh, person will be hesitant or a group of people will be hesitant to put that effort if, they, if there is no certainty that what they invent or what they eventually come up with will be protected by the government, if there is no certainty, because which would mean that you could put in all your effort and come up with something and just find that some competitor of yours has copied it. So this has actually this many historical explanation as to why we have patents. This is one of it. Another one is that earlier we had the trade secret regime, where which allowed people to keep uh, some uh, invention as trade secrets to the extent the technology allowed them, which meant that the technology was incapable of being reverse engineered and figured out. But uh, the, the patent regime actually came uh, as a disclosure regime because trade secrets are kept as secrets without disclosing them. You have very smart uh, non-disclosure agreements with whomever you're going to disclose a secret and, and we know that there are many things that are today kept as a trade secret. Uh, so this would be different, uh, uh, things would be different if the trade secret regime did not eventually make way for the patent regime. In that case, inventions, no matter how worthy they are, if the inventor felt that uh, his competitors would use it and make money in the process or commercialize it uh, to his detriment, then there could be a possibility that the person would not disclose the invention at all. So, so that's another reason why the patent regime came. Uh, now, we have various international conventions governing agreements and arrangements governing patent law. Uh, Paris Convention was the first one. Then you have the PCT, which refers to the Patent Cooperation Treaty, which is managed by the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. Uh, the, uh, uh, and you have the TRIPS agreement, which I just mentioned, is an agreement under the World Trade Organization. Patent laws in India, I'll take a quick through the, the, the material which we have circulated com encompasses all these things. So you can just have a, I'll just mention the things that have not been mentioned there. Uh, the Patents Act itself was amended in 1999, 2002 and 2005. So most of the online copies that you will find will be compliant. But the patent rules, however, uh, it was introduced uh, in uh, 1972, but it was amended, uh, the revised version came in 2003. That rules was amended in 2005, 2006, 2013, 14, and 2016. So the 2016 rules came in, uh, in May this year. So if you are going to buy a BAR Act, ensure that it has the 2016 rules. You, not just 2016 mentioned somewhere in the book, it has to say in the cover or in the index that it has incorporated. Otherwise, you are buying a product that may not be of um, th that might, may not help you. So try to look for this when you're buying a bar act, if you plan to buy one, that it incorporates uh, the rules. Uh, patents can be granted for products and processes. That's something which we will we'll discuss in detail. Uh,